Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to the Eden Run. You the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. We are now at 107 over 120 for the All Items Tier List episode. Everyone, thank you all very much for making it possible. This week has been filled with a lot of banger runs, and hopefully today is also going to be banger. Speaking of banger, here's your meme of the day brought to you by Lord Alucard. Title throw was instantly thought of this. Lil Chad. Mm-hmm. E-Bizzle. Yeah. So lock it all. <laughs> Uh, that old Vince meme, it never, it never, ever gets old, man. Thank you very much, Lord Alucard, and everyone who uploaded that one on the Invicta subreddit. We got a little hushy and jar of wisps. November 9, Foxtrot 3, uh, Papa Charlie Alpha Sierra. We've got terrible movement speed, but good, good tears rate, okay damage. Um, and we got a little hushy and jar of wisps, like I just got some saying. And we also now only have one half. Never mind, just kidding. We don't have any soul hearts at all because, uh, yeah, our movement speed is very, very, very bad. So I guess there's no reason for us not to go in the curse room now. Um, Lil Hushy is a well, he's a he's a familiar that does stuff. He uh, you know sits sits there and does nothing as long as you're firing. I don't know why he couldn't just keep like you know patrolling like that, but I guess that would be too succubus like. And Lord knows we don't want any items that uh, that do other things that other items do, right? Yeah, re repeating items in Isaac, please. What is this the year 2013? Like pre pre afterbirth? What I mean? Come on now. Or cement showing up again, I will go ahead and take that. So, but yeah, we've had a lot of uh, really good runs this week so far. Of course, accentuated and started with uh, the uh, run of the year on Sunday, which people are still, still super hype about. And I appreciate everyone's support on that run. I mean, it was, it, it was incredible. Like it, we, we don't use the, we don't use the run of the year tag lightly, but boy, howdy. Do we want paid up? I mean, it's only five cents. We get two cents back. So sure. Why not? A pay to play is going to make it to where we don't need keys anymore, and we can simply just use money now to unlock things, including doors and chests. Um, and uh, we can also use it in case of like we get like I don't know, like a double, may maybe like a, a vault or something like that, which we don't have any keys for. It's also very good if we end up getting something like Guppy's tail. Oh, those shots came out of nowhere. I'm trying very fruitlessly right now to use the extension cord as our primary source of damage, and it's not not working right because obviously old little, little hush he just he sits there and does nothing so like you know i have to kind of maneuver isaac around where little hushy is and it's uh it's tricky a little bit tricky here or of course jar of wisp is only going to get better uh the more times we use it get i believe up to 10 wisps or something like that 12 up to 12 so which is good and uh we've all seen the the amazing wisp combo that we had earlier this year uh, where we end up having Jar of Wisp being maxed out along with having the Unicorn Stump. That was an incredible, incredible co um, combo. And so, I mean, you know, if we can do something like that again, like, uh, hey, I'm all for it. I got it. I got This pin. It apparently landed on Isaac's head there. Well, good for you, Ben. Um, I am going to go back and go get that Soul Heart. Obviously, we're going to need it for the deal with the Devil uh, Protection. You have to be careful, though, of not losing the... Okay, yeah, we'll definitely take a tears up. Um, it does kill our shot speed, though, which is... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crappy, but, you know, what what, what else can we do? Uh, we are definitely going to be looking for a different uh, trinket as well. I mean, it's not that the extension cord is bad by any means. It's just, like, not what we really want. Um, you know, so get ourselves a little bit of a... Would help. Um, it. Oh no. I was gonna say it might make sense for us to buy a full charge for the jar of wisp, but we're only three rooms away from getting a full charge there. That's actually a big waste of money. Plus, remember now, money has a new significance because we need that. We need it to open up doors now. So and chests and all that kind of good stuff. So good to know. First thing unknown. I posted a couple of days ago. I think it was on Monday. I want to say I posted a, an actual picture of uh, which I've now. I've yes, I've now named her Sissy. People were running an update on on the little spider that I talked about in a uh, in a recent video. Uh, if you missed that story for whatever reason, or if you were just not paying attention, um, which I guess would be encompassed in the whole you know whatever reason. 
Uh, basically, what happened was the super long story short. Um, there was a there's a little spider, and I find these little brown spiders. It's the same it's the same species of spiders that just like repel downward from my light uh, above my desk and like just you know get my get my vision while I'm trying to record and stuff. Um, I get a bunch of those in my house, and there was one there was one particular spider in this corner uh, towards the towards the foyer that uh, that I think it's called a foyer. I don't know the, the entrance of the house. Um, where it was like it was kind of tucked away in a corner and it was definitely noticeable and like obviously i don't want spiders in the house but they can they can have they can have the out outside world i, I don't care about that what i don't want them want to what i don't want them doing is being in the inside world this is my space um so i what i usually do is i get the vacuum and what i what i end up doing was I, I, I was I was take my little my little handheld vacuum and then like you know just just suck them up in there and I say good luck if they survive great if not then well you know that's it should accomplished. So I went at I went at the spider with the vacuum and she immediately ran to the corner and like made herself super duper flat and uh, after a couple a couple like seconds of me trying to like I was trying to like prod her with like the corner of the of the vacuum and like and like kind of scrape her out of there so I could suck her up and get her out of my house. Um, I started feeling really bad because like she was doing like an amazing job being flat against the wall and I could tell that it was scared like it was really scared and I started feeling really terrible about what I was doing so I decided my, my conscience got the better of me and I decided to I, I decided to just to just let her go I was like all right you know what I feel bad and I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take the L on this one and I'll let the spider you know live So I felt I felt really really bad and um, and then I left the spider alone and and now she's my roommate. Now I, I charge her one mosquito per day um, if she finds any. Uh, but people have been wanting an update on her and I've been telling people that you know I wouldn't <laughs> I wasn't originally going to call her sissy, but of course I ended up caving and now her name is Sissy and she lives in her she lives in her little corner and she's actually getting bigger. Like, I don't know how she's getting bigger because every time I inspect her web and everything, like, I don't, I never see any carcasses. So, I don't know what she's eating, but she's, she's eating, she's eating something. Either that or the original sissy was eaten by a bigger spider and then was replaced, but I'm pretty sure it's the same spider. Like, there's no other spider that, that has ever been in that corner of the house. So, I don't know. Um, but, like, I don't, I, I don't, I never, like, pay any mind to... To her or anything like I don't sit there and stare at her I don't like talk to her or anything like that I mean it's hey sometimes it gets it gets lonely but like I ain't, I ain't that lonely uh, I don't need I'm not like I'm not sitting here talking to a spider lonely okay I've got stuff to do I got Diablo to play uh, uh, but yeah she's she's doing great I took a picture of her and put her on Twitter um, a lot of people liked it and stuff so you know that's 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 there 2020 here, which is going to further destroy our damage. But I'm hoping that we get some sort of multiplicative damage soon. Otherwise, we are going to be in for a long run. If we clear this room here, I am going to get a full charge on the Jar of Wisps. Okay, so we don't have any more money to be spending in the store, so there's no real point in us going in there. Um, we still have no bombs, so... We'll go into the cursed room just to see. Have a little chat with our demon friend here, and we get two troll bombs and two spiders. All right. Thank you, game, for wasting our time and and HP. Um, I will say that not everyone in not not everyone agrees with with me keeping a spider in the house, but I'm like, you know, I've I've I don't know how many spiders I've killed in my house over the years now. It's probably a lot. Well, there goes all of our whiffs, so screw us, I guess. Um, and we got some, some of our shot speed back. And yeah. Yeah. The Pact. I will take Vengeful Spear. I'm not going to take Mom's Knife. Uh, Backstabber, however, with uh, with rubber, rubber cement is actually pretty nice.
I believe that's already two or three for Leviathan now. I always do that. Every single time I need a bomb, I always blow up that one first. Because I'm just an idiot that won't stop, like, auto-firing, so. Mr. Dolly, which is going to give us some range and tears up. So we have now maxed out our tears rate, which is phenomenal. Um, but the problem here is that our our tears rate is almost double our damage. <laughs> that is, uh, that's how we like to say in the industry, uh, le not muy bueno. So if we can get some if we can get some more damage, that'd be great. Also, some more movement speed would be phenomenal. I would love that. Of course, we, if we can get rid of this red heart, then we will have more movement speed there, courtesy of Horde Babylon. Fortunately, we whenever we want the Mega Troll Bomb to blow up something, it won't. Yeah, little little sissy, she's doing great. Um, I did, I may have, I may have, I may have killed her boyfriend, possibly, uh, because I saw another spider. It was a smaller, I, I'm pretty sure it was a male spider because they're always smaller than the females. Um, and he was kind of like lurking around on the wall and stuff. I'm like, hmm. See, here's the thing. My house is open to one spider and one spider only. The, the, the quota has been filled. I'm, I'm sorry, friend. And uh, let's just say that Sissy's, Sissy's suitor has been, been... He's been escorted off the property in a body bag. Um, by body bag, I mean like paper towel. But anyway. Uh, yeah, other other than that, I haven't seen, thankfully, uh, any other visitors over there to, to little Sissy. Although in the picture, I did notice that 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 one little spider was there, and I didn't even realize that, that that the spider had been there until after I looked at the picture on Twitter. So maybe it's another suitor, sissy, sissies. I mean, hey, she's look. I ain't, I ain't gonna hate on you, girl. You know, go go ahead and go ahead and get get you a get you a man. Um, but I swear to God, if I find babies in my house, everyone's gone. That is, that is where that is where that is where the homeowner draws the line. If Sissy starts breeding and starts just having tons of baby spiders, that is not happening. I'm sorry. I will do everything in my power to vacate her, to evict her and her family from the house uh, safely and humanely, without killing her. But they will not be they will not be allowed to to be in the house. That's not happening. All right, I, I already feel insane for even just feeling bad for a spider, so... And don't get me wrong, spiders are cool. I like spiders. As long as they're being, you know, you know, outside and doing stuff for me that, like, you know, doesn't involve me being around them. Still looking for a movement speed upgrade. We are slowly catching up on damage. Not a whole lot to talk about in this run, other other than the god awful movement speed we've mentioned four times now. I still am an idiot and will continue to go into these curse rooms, foolishly thinking that we'll actually get something of like you know value in there. I guess we did get two soul hearts earlier, but I mean, come on. You're seeing here the backstabber and rubber cement combo absolutely shredding everything. Up now to five wisps. We also have Vengeful Soul, which is going to add even more to the wisp total. I'll take Black Tooth, I guess. See how easy it is for the wisps to be destroyed, even when we don't, even when we're trying to keep them safe, like they can just be destroyed by anything. I did see a very interesting tweet that people were tagging me in, which, by the way, if. If Ed if Ed tweets out something like hey like you know what like like what's a good what's a good list of of things to uh, of items that need working or like what's the best items that are probably too strong please don't tag me and please don't bother Ed with with tagging me please like I I talk to I talk to Ed on not on a regular basis anymore but a semi regular basis you don't you don't need to worry about about plugging up his his uh, notifications with Sinvicta tags I promise. I do appreciate it though, everybody. But yeah, I, Ed, Ed doesn't want to hear my opinions on, <laughs> on a lot of the items, and I respect that. I am not. I am. I am what it, what would be considered probably like an, 
a, a very non-typical Isaac player. Um, given either the experience that I have in the game or the amount of hours, which is usually synonymous with experience, or just my general, like, you know, opinions overall. I don't know many people who share the same opinions that I do when it comes to item balance and that sort of thing. And uh, I don't think that Ed would ever, ever <laughs> listen to any of my, uh, of my recommendations for his game. Although I was surprised by that posting, though, because apparently they are still... I, I, I need to correct myself uh, from what we were talking about, I think, yesterday or maybe even day before. Apparently, we are still going to get Isaac updates, but I guess they're just in the form of balance updates. So whether that's good or not, I, I don't know, um, because there's, you know, Isaac, this game, ever since Repentance came out, especially Repentance, has always had a problem of being messed with one too many times. and. You know, we can debate the whole, you know, how often does a single player offline non-competitive roguelite have to be balanced? We can we can debate that for days and days and days. But, um, you know, the fact that that they're still going to be messing with with items and stuff is, I guess, encouraging in a way. I do worry about them ner about them nerfing stuff and, you know, just changing things for the worse. <laughs> but, you know, he specifically said in that tweet that uh, he wanted to know what what, were, what was basically what were everyone's least favorite items that probably needed a good looking at. So uh, we're going to very briefly get empty vessel here and movement speed, but it's going to quickly go away because of that dang old eternal heart. We are going to get a, a nice DPS up increase here, though, courtesy of uh, Dark Prince's crown. And we are moving. The, like, really, talking about this run here, um, it's showing you that, like, you know, getting the getting the right combo, and you're going to be totally fine with... You, with you're, you're, going to be, you're going to be totally fine with DPS and, and even your, your clear speed here. That combo being Rubber Cement and Backstabber. You know, if you look at our stats, they're terrible. Like, other than our tears rate, it's absolute garbage. And uh, the fact that we're that we're faster here than we were on, I believe, even the poly the polyphemus brimstone run, is a testament to show that like the 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 stats on paper they don't mean much, y'all. I mean, obviously, they are a way to measure how good you are and how strong a run is. But. Outside of that, like it's it, it comes down to to tier synergy a lot. We go do our boss fight real quick. We've also, I by the way, I have I have not I've not not been noticing how lucky we've been getting here with these devil deals. We've been we've been getting almost every floor, which is insane. And you're seeing here the DPS on mom. Like again, we don't have incredible damage, but like it's this fire rate is is. Spectacular. So I am going to take the negative for a damage upgrade here. Surprise, surprise. We're taking the negative and going to fight Lamb. I know. I know. I know. Ooh. Well, that's some damage right there. You know, a common, a common uh, criticism that I see these days is like, you know, oh, it's just always blue baby or Lamb to blue baby. Here we go. It's like, yeah, but, you know, victory laps are fun. And it's not exactly an easy, it's not the easiest route. If I wanted to take the, the path of least resistance every single time, I wouldn't take either the Polaroid or, or the negative, and I would just simply, I would just simply beat Isaac, and then that's that. And, uh, or not even Isaac, you just beat Mom's heart, and that's that. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to skimp out on content here, you know. Now, sometimes if I have, if I've got, like, dinner plans, or if, I've, if my voice is, is a little bit too strained for the day or whatever, then, like, you know, I, I, I let people know. I communicated, but I think that our standard runs are obviously down to the lamb and then, you know, and then blue baby if if a victory lap is on the menu. Sometimes it's not always on the menu uh, for the aforementioned reasons. But, you know, we try to, I try to switch it up and try to make it, make it interesting, at least if not for the commentary, then, you know, some of the interesting synergies. I mean, that's, that's really, that's really what this game and this series comes down to is just, is making it entertaining for people. You know, and, you know, in, in teaching them how to play Isaac and, and you know, there's someone shared recently a very wholesome post on the Invictus subreddit. They were, I think, it was, no, 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 it was a, it was a comment, actually. Um, they were talking about how uh, he, he and his wife 
do not get a chance to really bond much anymore, but they all, they both sit down and, and watch the videos for dinner time and that sort of thing. And, you know, and, 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 and that kind of stuff really makes what this is, what this whole YouTube thing that I do worth, worthwhile to me to know that like people are, if they're not watching for the Isaac content, they're still watching just for, you know, a familiar voice or, or just, you know, company or, you know, or, or just entertainment, you know, hopefully entertainment. And, uh, and that to me is to that me that that's more important than the game itself. And that's why I've always, I've always held the mosh pit. I'm just going to, don't feel like messing with Curse of the Lost. I've always held the mosh pit and the people who who make up the mosh pit in high regards because I've always looked at, I've always looked at you all as people, not just nameless avatars or pictures or anything on YouTube. Like I've always, I know that there's real people who are sitting behind the device or, you know, or, or sitting here watching these. I mean, this channel, this channel would not be what it is if it weren't for the, the generosity of everyone, you know, and you may, you may not think that you're doing anything, but every single time you click the like button, every single time you leave a comment, every single time you watch an ad or you, you just watch the video, it, it's, it's generous. You're, you're giving me something for my time and my work and my effort. So it's mutually beneficial. And I've said it many times that uh, there's people on YouTube and, and especially streamers don't, they don't appreciate that more for what it means. Like a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people who are in this industry really don't understand how lucky they are to have an audience. Some of them, you know, I'm not saying everyone. This is not a generalized statement. It's, I'm not putting anyone on blast. But I just think that there's a lot of people on YouTube and and, and Twitch and, you know, and other platforms that that truly just don't sit there and think about it sometimes. Like, it, it mean, it's almost an automatic reflex. Like, like I say, like, you know, the appreciate it bros out there. Like, that, that's, the, that's the level of, of automatic I'm talking about. It's almost like a reflex to them. And... The devil deal, unfortunately. And when when people leave comments that say like, you know, they've you know, you really brought me and my, my wife a little bit closer together, or me and my, my kids, we, we have something that we all enjoy watching, we appreciate no swearing and that sort of thing. On the YouTube channel. The the Twitch channel is totally different. Um, not that much different, but I will say that the, the obviously the Twitch streams are a little bit, little bit more unfiltered um, in terms of censorship from swearing and that sort of thing. And I don't, I try not to swear too much on stream, but like I do, I've said it many times, like I do swear often. Um, not, not quite, not, not quite the level that I do in real life off camera and stuff, but like every now and then, like if, if something's really like ticking me off, like, I mean, I'm going to let, I'm going to let the game know about it. You know, it's just like when people leave, you know, overly negative comments or, or just being trolls or whatever, like, you know, that's like, go for it. Like, that's, that's fine. But like, I'm not afraid to, I'm not, af I'm not afraid to let people know how I feel. And that works sometimes to a fault, but I'm not, I'm just not good at lying about my emotions. Uh, you know, when someone, when someone I think is, is being overly critical or overly, overly negative, you know, depending on how it's how it's presented will definitely dictate whether or not that person will be back. Um, but, you know, outside of the general trolls and just haters out there, you know, most, most of the time it's the comments are, are enjoyable to read. And, and I enjoy, I enjoy hearing stuff like, you know, like we, like my son and daughter really, really love, you know, the, they, they love talking about sissy and they love, you know, all the, all the little silly noises and that sort of thing that, that you do. And I, and I appreciate that. We cannot safely take any of these because our movement speed is so bad. 
I don't want to go in the big room without having a full charge and shoot. This is going to start getting dangerous here. It's our, it's already been dangerous. Just keep, just, just let it ride, I guess, over in this direction. Look at the amount of damage that we're doing here without having, without having incredible damage. It's just, I mean, our damage is very good. Yeah, see, that's the thing that we can't have. Now, we did gain movement speed there, courtesy of Bloody Gust, but that's not the way that we want to gain movement speed. I'm shocked that we have not gotten any movement speed this entire run. Obviously, Eve's Mascara was a big, big help for our damage. It did kill our tears rate, but as long as we can extend the... As long as we can keep using uh, Dark Prince's Crown here, that's going to keep us somewhat safe. But you know, but there are, there are times, and I mean, and I don't like to ban people. I don't like to I don't like to shadow ban people and stuff. But but you know, I'm not I'm not someone who who's just who is just going to ignore the comment section because all because oh, it's just a wasteland of negativity. No, I like I like I like interacting with the mosh pit. I like talking to the people that are in chat and leaving you know leaving comment streaks and that sort of thing like that's that's something that's enjoyable for me i, I don't think that i don't think that, that shutting off your shutting off yourself for the sake of not wanting to read negativity is for, and especially with such an open an open avenue of communication for people who support you i don't think it's wise to do that some people can't handle it and i and i understand that you know, I've got I've got really thick skin, and just because I have thick skin, of course, we'll, we'll clear everybody. By the way, that's the reason why I have just gone my original gut and just went straight to the big room. Always go to the big room, kids. Um, but you know, just because I say that I have thick skin, it doesn't mean that you can just get away with saying whatever the hell you want. Like you're, I'm I'm gonna clap back at you, and that's a th that's the thing is that I'm not afraid to to clap back at people too, especially if I think they're being overly just rude or anything like that. You know, I think making making people own up for own up for for their words and what they say I, is it, it's important because I want to show people that like it you know it, it, it's that's not true for every channel but it definitely rings true for here whether it be discord or in chat or comments and that sort of thing and that's just because like you know just my nature of like I I'm talking to a real person like I'm not talking to some oh 10 year old kid you know like I mean you know what I mean like I just I want I want people to understand that like they're more to me than just no random no name nobodies on the internet on YouTube. Yeah, we've gotten no movement speed upgrades here. We did get a little brimstone out of uh Cammy Conception though. I was really hoping that we were gonna get uh flying. But as you see here, I'm glad that we did not get rid of uh glad we didn't get rid of that that red heart because had I gone for uh lusty blood we would have I would have been dead. Wow, we absolutely flew through that run. Uh, Hotel Victor, Tango Hotel, 2 November, 7-6. Little Steven. Take a little Steven. Little Burmy doesn't count towards uh, conjoined here. Yeah, I like having that. I like having that candor, that that candor and that that reputation of, of of you know you can you can talk to the people in the comments or you can talk to chat. You know something something's bothering you or, or and, and and that that holds true for a lot of things too. Like I I don't want to I don't want to seem like one of those like unreachable wannabe celebrity you know pseudo celebrity whatever the hell you, you want to call them like you know influencers or whatever like i'm still a real person and i always i always keep it real with people uh, i'm not a good actor as everyone is very clearly aware of i would like i would like to be a voice actor though that, that, that is a dream of mine i love to voice a major video game character or a major anime character or something like that uh, that's the that's another another sort of bucket list idea for me but, if, but voicing a video game character, a prominent one, would be very fun. I think that would be incredible. That'd be like a dream come true. 
One of my dreams was to have a fully uh, a full length heavy metal album, and I've done that, thanks to the large in part to the Mosh Pit support on Patreon. And my next dream is to definitely is to definitely be a um, an established voice actor. That would be great. I don't know if I'd be good at it. Like I said, I'm not I'm not good at acting. I'm not good at, at hiding my emotions. If I'm upset about something, I'll let you know about it real quick. Obviously gonna get rid of the red heart here just so we can get back our sweet, sweet uh, tears rate. You know, and those times I know that I know that there's some things that that uh, that some people get upset about every now and then. Like I know people don't like the shorter runs, but I tell I try to temper that by letting people like, hey, look, look, I'm my voice is kind of tired today. Like I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it easy. It's much better for me to take care of my voice than the alternative, which is to simply lose my voice and then not be able to work and do this. Um, you know, my voice is I I believe that my voice is still okay, but over the years I definitely. I definitely feel the strain a lot sooner. I think that's just a product of getting older. I'm gonna take the Bible here, but not take it, take it. I'm just gonna buy it. Um, only for the sake of getting another one towards Bookworm and also for the Seraphim transformation. We already go to the item room? I don't remember. I've been talking too much this episode. You know, but one one thing I one thing I will I will say that that happened over this week, uh, and it was actually during the 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 run of the year episode, the um, you know, the the Tana Lilith episode, was that I was I was I was getting very bristly at the people who there. It's a constant. There, there's this, for some reason there's this constant trend of, especially on my videos. There's a yeah we over there. That's where we got best blood from. There's a, there's been a trend lately that that annoys me about about the comments sometimes when people they overly focus on the negative aspect of a run instead of enjoying the run for what it was. People are like, "Oh my god, how could you not get the double brimstone combo?" Blah, 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 blah. And people, you know, people start getting rude about it and and flipping out and they're like, "Oh, it physically hurt me to see that." But it's like, "Dude, shut up." Like just watch the just watch the run and enjoy it. Like no one's here to to see a three hour like unlimited game break. You know, I'd rather use two wild cards in Diplopia than sit there and like duplicate everything over and over again. And if that's like if that's the kind of stuff you like to watch, then hey, good for you. That's not the kind of stuff that I'm going to do all the time. Um, to me, it's not interesting to see the game to the point where I just have unlimited diplopias and I just and I just double everything double everything like we've already won this run like this runs this runs amazing like I want to see more of this run I what I don't want to do is make the run so broken and take you know 30 years to get there so that's where it, it's it's that the, lately that's been the the trend that's been that's been kind of irking me um with the with some of the comments because it's just it goes back to the double brimstone thing too. Like that was that was one point of contention that I had uh, with a with some people where you know I didn't take I didn't take double brimstone and at the time it's because I, I straight up didn't didn't even think about it being a, a damage upgrade. Um, but it's because it's one of those things where it's just because like we just don't need it. Like did we did I need to do this to win this run? No, I didn't. Like, you know, why not just sit back and just enjoy the run, you know? Just have fun with it. Why Appreciate the run that we had and and don't rage about the run that we could have had because you saw a combo that I either didn't or I didn't care about. That's really that's really the takeaway from all this, I guess. And, you know, and I thought about making posts and stuff, but it's at the end of the day, it's, I, it's easier to just talk instead of writing comments and everything because I think that, you know, and especially with comments, like, you know, people will take it out of context. They'll sit there and like, and like repaste it and like, oh, like he forgot to do this or he said this and that sort of thing. And that's just, I mean, that's just the world we live in these days. But that's really the only sort of negative thing that I, that I can think about in recent memory anyway. Throughout an otherwise very positive week of, of runs. It's been crazy. This run, this run as well is not exactly crazy. 
but we're definitely plowing through it. If we can just get a gosh dang movement speed upgrade now, I'll be happy. Give me a give me a speedball. Give me a roid rage. Give me something. Or Mr. Boom. Purposely not picking up the red hearts because I just don't want to deactivate this uh, Arc Prince's crown. That's basically all we've got right now in terms of uh, in terms of our tears rate. Thanks to Eve's mascara. Now we could go go around and get those red hearts, but I'm not going to. But just to just to put a pin in the in the conversation because I don't want to dwell on it, and I don't I don't want to continue to 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 talk about it. Those bookworm. Um, you know, talking about I, I've I've been very upfront and vocal about not being a min maxer. You know, there there are going to be there's going to be stuff like that that crops up that you you kind of uh, most people know just kind of expect it, I guess. And just know that I'm not there. Whenever stuff like that happens, it's not that I don't want to have fun. It's not that I don't want to like, you know, oh, but this this could be really super interesting and stuff, too. There's a, there's a bigger picture to be had when it comes to when it comes to breaking the game and just doubling everything and doubling everything. And you also have to remember that this game crashes a lot, a lot. Right. And you always run the risk of, of losing a recording or the game just or the game just crashing and screwing up and bugging. I mean, it's it's everything in between. Isaac is not a stable game. OK. And. I would rather have a completed run that was really fun and was enjoyable and something that was unique and, and new that we haven't seen before than really push the technical limits. I didn't think it was going to be there. Then really push the technical limits of the game and possibly jeopardize the recording. Because I guarantee you there's there would be more people who, are, who get bent out of shape because a recording skipped a win in the win streak or... There was a there was a lapse in like like a like a noticeable lapse in like the Eden tokens. Like I guarantee you, there'd be more people outraged about that than me simply not getting double diplopia or diplopia and and wild card. Okay, so like I said, there's a lot of angles to sort of to sort of appreciate and, and hopefully understand. Hopefully this this clarifies my position on the on the whole subject. So the next time you, f ne next time you feel angry or miffed that I didn't do something in the game, ask yourself two questions. One, is it really worth getting upset about? And two, did we need to do this in order to win the run? Did it have, if I had done this, would it have, would it have affected the run in any way, shape, or form? That that's my that's my favor of the day to ask you. And I know I ask a lot of favors in the mosh pit. You all do me lots of favors by supporting these videos each and every day, and I appreciate it. Not in an appreciated bro sort of way, but an actual appreciation. Hopefully you understand that. No, it might not be the most like entertaining thing to talk about right now, but what else are we going to talk about other than, where's our movement speed? Panic Bible. We really don't need Shoop to Whoop, to be honest. But it is Curse of Blind. And I do want my movement speed, so I'm not going to use the Satanic Bible. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll hold on to it. I'm, I'm going to hold on to it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to use it until after we're done with the boss. I'm not motivated to use the Stars card in a, in a blind item. I'm Curse of Blind. We'll say that there are there are I, I've tried to I've tried to get better about explaining my thought process, and that's really where the uh, the videos like you know the eye tracker episode came out, and then the eye tracker analysis episode really opened up a lot of people's eyes to to sort of help them more understand my thought process. And like there were a lot of comments, but like you know I would have never thought about this game that way before and I'm not trying to ascend myself to some sort of higher plane of understanding or, or intellect uh, over any anyone else I'm just saying I'm just reading back comments that people were saying and those everything that I that I documented there in that in, in the eye tracker analysis episode was 
w was legit my those are just my thought processes like i'm not trying to make it seem overly complicated or anything like that oh my god we got movement speed thank you consolation prize i forgot to use the satanic bible not that it matters though because i mean we're gonna use it here we got movement speed coach finally thank you consolation prize Most of the time, the things that I do in the game are done with purpose. Not all the times. You know, I everyone knows that I get forgetful about a lot of stuff. And most of the time, it's because I'm just not thinking about it or like I'm monologuing or, you know, or doing something irrelevant in the game. Um, but I've been trying to get better and continuing to, to get better about explaining strategies on a a little bit more of a of a deeper level to help hopefully sort of guide people on how what the process is here like uh, you know you'll hear me explaining how to clear rooms you hear me talking about angles and you know which which ways to dodge and that sort of stuff and like i'm trying to get better about doing that um so people sort of understand the what sometimes maybe maybe perceived as a weird thing that i do is be like ah i know why he did that this is the reason why i remember him saying this but it's just like I said the other day, like, you know, this, this video series is built, if nothing off of, re of repetition, then just simply, well, insanity, I guess. Definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the different result, which I also read was not an actual quote. I read that that was not a real quote. No one had, no one had actually said that. It, it's been quoted through books and especially movies and video games and I'm and I read that like that wasn't actually so and so's quote which is made up it makes sense though for sure I don't know if that's true or not but it does make sense uh yeah I'm going to I'm going to get rid of I'm going to get rid of uh our princess crown because I want to have flying big chill could have taken fat on mushroom, but then I would kill our movement speed. Why would I? Why would I do that? I know today's been a been a rant heavy episode, and not everyone likes that. But you know, I, you can't please everybody. There's always going to be that that one person who's like, "I wish you would go to alt path every run," and then there's going to be the other person like, "I wish you would just take pills. That's not that big of a deal." You can't please everybody, and I don't try to please everybody. I try to I try to please as many people as I can. That's all you can really do. If you can't, if you try to please everybody, then you're not gonna be able to please yourself. And I would rather be happy with the with the videos than be unhappy with them. No idea where the boss is. For the chunkage. That's true chunkage right there. Now, because we have the Satanic Bible, obviously we're going to be sub we're going to be substituting uh, the boss items for the Satanic Bible items, which are all going to be devil deals, of course. But that also takes HP away from you, so it's good and bad. I mean, we, you know, the, the Satanic Bible that's been another hot button issue. People, some people do not agree with my with my assessment that I think that using the Satanic Bible on every floor is not necessarily a wise idea. Um, because we, we've already shown the importance of, of boss items in a run. But, you know, everyone can have their opinion. That's a, I've said that many years now, that Isaac is... It's a... You know, all the greatest games can be played many different ways and still come up to the same conclusion of this is the boss that we have to beat, you know. It, it breeds strategy, and that's good. You don't... You really don't get to see that level of of differing opinion and strategy in, in games, especially roguelikes. Um, but Isaac, you know, is from a, from a design purpose, a, a very, very well-crafted game. Not perfect, of course, but it's well-crafted. And differing opinions will, you know, it, it's, it, it's good. It's good for strategy. It's good for discussion and overall good for the health of the game to, to keep it entertaining for people. And that means that, People of different skill levels can play different ways. So, but you know, sharing your opinions or or, or talking about someone else's opinions has got to be done in a certain, certain mature, respectful way too. 
You can't just call someone stupid and say, oh, your opinion's stupid. Like, that's, that's what children do. We're above that. I would hope, anyway. We don't, we don't want any eternal hearts. Finally getting some bombas here. Obviously the keys don't matter and haven't mattered for this entire run. And look at the backstab damage there. Now it goes bloat. So we get the uh, Book of Belial. Hey, look at that. We get a chance to actually get Lusty Blood this time. Welcome back, Lusty Blood. Good to have you here. Really boost that damage up even more. Really hoping that we're going to find Lord of the Pit or something again just to get some movement speed. You know, I think that I think this episode, whether it's not it's not too heavy on the game discussion, but it's, I think it's I think it's good conversation. Feel feel good about stuff that we that we discussed today. Sometimes those are important episodes too, you know. Isaac turning redder and redder. That is due to lusty blood kicking in. <laughs> this will constitute one of those rooms that Sinvicta doesn't feel like waiting for. We have the bombs. I'm going to use it. If it's a dead end, I'm going to use them. Because I think that we've gotten pretty much everything we need out of this run. We have easily dominated every aspect of this run. Had a lot of fun on Wacky Wednesday. That was a great run as well. It was a, it was a very simple premise that really like kind of took off, and and I, I'm I, I still am like digging that idea. I think that it could be even refined to a greater degree. I would love to see. I would love to see like if there was a way to if there was a way to to get Genesis to keep you on the floor. I guess you could, if you really wanted to, you could get like a, a stars car or something where you wouldn't have to go to the next floor. But it would just be a pain to to, to run Genesis after like every item room or something like that. Um, but I see potential in sort of the, in this the Slay of the Spire, you know, Dead Cells, so vampire survivors like that like that sort of genre of picking your upgrades and continuing to refine them over and over and over again i i, I wish that something like that existed in isaac that would, that would just be so sick every three or four rooms or mini challenges or something like that or even like again you go back to the comparison i keep making is crab champions um where crab champions has this has this really really awesome system of every five islands you get a store and then you get your true upgrades with like pepperings here and there of, of other upgrades that you can get um in, in between the stores i mean but i would love to see something like that in isaac i think that that would that would br truly bring isaac to a, a the the next level of elite top tier roguelites so some people might say that that's taking the RNG and, and the fun out of it. There, you can still have RNG. That's the thing is like it, it's not about being anti RNG. It's being more about player choice and uh, building the sort of game that you want to build. Like you can't in Isaac, for example, like you can't build like I want to go a bomb build today or I want to go a grenade build like you can in, in Crab Champions. You know, there's always an option to go something like that or a melee build. You can't you can't always do that. You're always sort of at the whim of, of whatever the game gives you. And to a certain point, I mean, that's how Isaac has always been, obviously, you know, and there is a little bit of skill and finesse involved whenever you're talking about like, you know, yeah, this is I mean, it, it's literally the reason why I still play Eden all after all these years. Um, it's just because, like, I think there's there's true challenge in knowing and fully knowing what an item does and saying, okay, this is the synergy that we have to look out for that we want versus, you know, oh, I can just keep pe I can just keep picking damage upgrades over and over and over again, you know. So in a way, Isaac does that better, but I would like to see some some variety in 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 the acquisition of stats too, because there are times, you know, especially when you get those really terrible Eden runs, 
where it's just like the game is just straight up not fun to play. I know it's fun to watch. I know people enjoy those those struggle bus runs, but as far as like playing goes, D sizzle. Come back, little hushy. Oh man, Anima Soul. I can't turn that down. Anima freaking Sola. How long has it been? Not that long, actually. Look at that. Anima Sola backstabber. I tell you what. I kind of like this Anima Sola thing. Killed one, immediately shackled the other so he couldn't jump or anything. Okay. Gotta say, Empty Vessel also been kicking butt the wrong way too, isn't it? What was that? Look at that. I mean, it's just, it's so good, man. Anima Sola is just so freaking good. I cannot wait to get to Anima Sola when it comes up in the all items tier list. Like, it's not going to be, by the way, full clear. It's not going to be any, any surprise where I end up putting it. It's, it's, I mean, it, it's got to be S tier. Like, it has to be S tier. No other item can completely immobilize and and debilitate a boss like Anima Sola can. If you even have mediocre damage, Anima Sola is just going to absolutely wreck shop on any boss in the game. It can be used over and over again. It can be used at length. It doesn't matter where you're going to be using it from on the screen. It's going to hit whatever boss you're you're fighting, assuming that it's like you know the only target. Obviously, it recharges super quickly. And it does the same exact thing every single time. You you know what you're getting out of the box with Anima Solo. I mean, there to it by every definition of an S tier item, that is what Anima Sola is. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Now I don't have any I don't have any like predetermined ranks or anything like that. Like I don't keep a a, a tier list ranking in in my head every single day <laughs> for Isaac. Most of the time, I'm, I'm going to be firing off the cuff here as soon as I get the, you know, whenever we do eventually do the uh, all items tier list. But, you know, there's there's certain S tier items that definitely come to mind without spoiling. So no delirium here, but hey, that's all right. You know what? It was a fun episode, a really good discussion episode. Thank you, everybody, sincerely, for all the support. I really appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then. So long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Taz Bryant, Nicholas Fernald, and Ivy Bug. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta. 